bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Most people wonder if they'll get cancer. Others wonder when. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Autumn Marisa and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Our guest this hour is Jean McCoy, who is on the board of directors of VHL Family Alliance. And our topic today is VHL disease. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Now let's start by talking about VHL. What exactly is it and what does that stand for? VHL stands for Von Hippel Lindau disease and it's a hereditary condition that causes tumors to grow in the blood rich areas of the body like the retina, brain, spinal cord, um, kidneys, pancreas, and adrenal glands. Um, basically it's a flaw in a gene that everyone has a VHL gene okay. but those of us with VHL disease have a faulty gene um, this gene is on the short arm of chromosome 3 and basically it regulates cell growth and so our cell growth is abnormal the growth of blood vessels is abnormal so these tumors can develop and most of the time they're benign but they can also be cancerous especially in the case of um, of kidneys in my case and had kidney cancer. Now you look great you're Thanks. sitting here in front of us and you're telling us that you have VHL disease is this what an individual with VHL disease looks like? Does it go undiagnosed or misdiagnosed because you don't know that you have it? Absolutely. I think that's a really good point. Um, it's a rare disease, but um, about 1 in 32,000 people have VHL. Oftentimes it is underdiagnosed. Um, for me, I knew a little bit about it because we had a family history, um, but um, we're in all walks of life. It, it affects all ethnic groups worldwide. Um, it does not discriminate. It does not discriminate, mm -hmm. absolutely not. Now you have a wonderful story. Can you tell us a little bit about your story and how you went and actually got diagnosed yourself and took um, charge of your own health? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we knew there was a family history. Um, my grandmother was diagnosed with um, von Hippel-Lindau disease. Um, didn't know that my mom had it though, so we just knew that the family history was sort of lingering out there. Um, but soon after the birth of my third child, my mom had gotten quite ill and we found out that she in fact had VHL and in fact was fighting um, pretty advanced kidney cancer among some other things. So because of that, we just, my husband and I took a step back, looked at what was going on in my life. I was having some strange symptoms with vertigo and dizziness and headaches and um, thought that perhaps this was connected. So we went, made the decision to be tested genetically. Um, I was tested genetically, found out um, really right at the first birthday of our third child. So things wow. were crazy. Um, and once we found out that genetic diagnosis, we went ahead and did some screening. And that's so important if you know that you have um, potentially um, a genetic disease is to do the screening. So we right. did some um, image studies and found out that I had kidney cancer in both kidneys. No symptoms no symptoms, um, and then had some brain tumors too that weren't a surprise since I've been having some problems. And how are you doing now? I'm great, thank you. I've had a couple surgeries um, mm -hmm. a few years ago. Um, four years ago I had two kidney surgeries to remove the cancerous lesions in both kidneys and a neurosurgery. And then two years ago I had a tumor from my brain stem removed. But I'm doing great, thanks for asking. And what is your future risk? You know, absolutely there's a risk. And that's so important that um, because I know that, I follow up with these screening mm -hmm. guidelines. So every six months, I um, I go undergo tests and scans and images, and we're really just watching for things, knowing that I've got this risk and it could come back. We'll and you have watching. you have said that in a lot of the interviews that you have done, and we do appreciate you've traveled a long way to be oh, here with us today. It's but my pleasure. it's so important for patients to take their lives into their own hands and help the doctors find out if there is in fact a risk in your family or in your own health. Absolutely, and I think that's it. I think um, I'm not a medical professional, but I am the best advocate for my own health and mm -hmm. for the health of my children. Mm -hmm. so. Now, you said your grandmother was a role model to oh, you. Um, how? In what way? How was she? A role absolutely. Model? I mean, she uh, she went blind at the age of 30. She raised two children blind, um, and then battled um, cancer and other things. And I just always remembered her as a source of strength. Never complained. You know, never was it woe is me. She was always positive and upbeat and in charge of her life. Great. Well, we really do appreciate you being here today. Thank you very much, and you're a great advocate for this cause. Thanks so much. This hour's newsmaker has been Jean McCoy, who's on the board of directors of VHL Family Alliance. I'm Autumn Reese for Comcast Newsmakers. For more news and information, please visit us at cn8.tv.